Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Every sequence of real numbers has a monotone subsequence. So really, we're showing that every sequence of real numbers has a subsequence which is either increasing or decreasing. When we say increasing, we mean every term is greater than or equal to the term that came before it. When we say decreasing, we mean every term is less than or equal to the term that came before it. Okay, so to start out the proof, since we're trying to prove a statement about every sequence of real numbers, let's consider an arbitrary sequence of real numbers. I'll call it xn. The whole goal is to show that xn has a monotone subsequence. And to show this, let's consider the following set. We consider the set S, which is defined to be the set of all positive integers m, such that xm is greater than or equal to xn for all positive integers n greater than m. Now, either S is finite or infinite. And what we're going to do is we are going to show, in either case, we can find a monotone subsequence of xn. Let's start with a case where s is infinite. So suppose s is infinite. Well, then s is an infinite subset of positive integers. If you recall, every infinite subset of positive integers can have its elements listed in order. So we're going to list the elements of s as follows. So we're essentially listing the elements of S in order from smallest to biggest. As you can imagine, this list will go on forever. What we're really saying here is there exists a bijection from the positive integers to S that is strictly increasing. And in the description, I'll leave a link uh, which proves this fact regarding infinite subsets of positive integers. But in any case, Notice, this strictly increasing sequence of positive integers gives us a subsequence of xn, namely xm1, xm2, xm3, and so on and so forth. We're going to show that that subsequence is monotone decreasing. We're trying to show xmk is monotone decreasing which means we want to show for all positive integers k, xmk is greater than or equal to xmk plus 1. So we just got to show that this is true. Well, if we consider an arbitrary positive integer k, I'll just write that right here. Well, then we know that mk is an element of s. And since mk is an element of s, well, by definition of s, what this means is if we take m to be mk, this means xmk is greater than or equal to xn for all positive integers n greater than mk. Well, since this is a strictly increasing sequence, then in particular, we know that mk plus 1 is greater than mk. Since mk plus 1 is greater than mk, and this statement works for all positive integers greater than mk, then in particular, we can take n to be mk plus 1. And if we do that, we see that xmk is greater than or equal to xmk plus 1. And that is exactly what we wanted to show. Now, these details that I've written are not actually part of the proof. In the proof, I'm just going to say, notice, if k is a positive integer, then xmk is greater than or equal to xmk plus 1 by definition of s. And that is precisely what it means for the subsequence xmk to be monotone decreasing.
So we have found a monotone subsequence of Xn. So this completes the case where S is infinite. Now let's consider the case where S is finite. Now if you recall, every finite set of real numbers has an upper bound. So S must have an upper bound. I'll call it U. Right, and since U is an upper bound of S, we know that everything bigger than U must not belong to S. So every positive integer bigger than U is not an element of S. And so the way I'm wording that is for all positive integers M, if M is greater than U, then M is not an element of S. Now we're gonna use this fact to construct a strictly increasing sequence of positive integers. And that strictly increasing sequence of positive integers is going to yield a subsequence of Xn, which is monotone increasing. Right, we're gonna construct this sequence of positive integers recursively. So let's start out by picking a positive integer M1, which is greater than U. So this is the first step of the construction, picking M1. Now let's suppose we've reached the kth step and we have picked a positive integer MK such that MK is greater than U. And so to do this construction correctly, we need to make sure we also pick MK plus one in such a way that MK plus one is greater than U. But there's a few other things that we need, right? Since we're trying to construct a strictly increasing sequence of positive integers, we must also pick mk plus 1 so that mk plus 1 is strictly greater than mk. Because that will assure us m1 is less than m2, is less than m3, is less than m4, and so on and so forth. But also, we want to make sure that this strictly increasing sequence of positive integers yields a subsequence of Xn that is monotone increasing. To be monotone increasing means we want to assure that Xmk plus one is greater than or equal to Xmk. So if we pick Mk plus one such that this is true, this will assure us that Xm1 is less than or equal to Xm2, is less than or equal to Xm3, and so on and so forth. And that will give us a monotone increasing subsequence. Okay, so now let's pick mk plus one so that these three requirements are satisfied. So to start out, since mk is greater than u, well, let's remind ourselves that this statement is true for all positive integers n. Since it works for every positive integer, then in particular it must work for mk. So taking m to be mk, well, if mk is greater than u, then mk is not an element of s. Well, yeah, mk is greater than u, therefore mk is not an element of s. Now, what does it mean for mk to not be an element of s? Well, going to the definition of s, if we take m to be mk, we know that mk is a positive integer, but mk is not an element of s, which means this requirement is not satisfied. So it's not the case that xmk is greater than or equal to xn for all positive integers n greater than mk. Instead, the opposite is true. So there must exist an n greater than mk such that xmk is less than xn. And so we're going to label n by mk plus 1. So what we've basically just done here is we have negated this statement and we took n to be mk plus 1. Now notice the second requirement is satisfied. That's what we have here. The third requirement is satisfied. That's what we have here, right? Since 
xmk plus 1 is greater than xmk, clearly xmk plus 1 is greater than or equal to xmk. But also, we know that the first requirement is going to be satisfied because mk is greater than u, therefore mk plus 1 is greater than u. So we have picked mk plus 1 so that all three of these requirements are satisfied. So this construction gives us a strictly increasing sequence of positive integers, m1, m2, m3, and so on and so forth. And not only is this a strictly increasing sequence of positive integers, but it was constructed in such a way that xm1 is less than or equal to xm2 is less than or equal to xm3, and so on and so forth. And therefore, we have a monotone increasing subsequence of xm. And so, we have shown that xn has a monotone subsequence. So that completes the case where s is finite. We see no matter whether we have s is infinite or finite, xn must have a monotone subsequence. So xn has a monotone subsequence. Since xn was an arbitrary sequence of real numbers, we've shown every sequence of real numbers has a monotone subsequence. And so this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.